Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're taking a look at our budget beer selections from Trader Joe's, the Hefeweizen, and Summer Brew Kelsch. Cool, so we're gonna go with the uh, the Kels first, just because it's a lighter, less flavorful, it's, it's I guess? It's a Kelsch style. Oh, so. it does say that, huh? Oh, Kel so, Kelsch style. I don't know what that really means. You're either Kelsch or you're not. Yeah, this is one of the most strictly um, kind of guarded beer styles in Germany. Uh, it's regulated by the right Heischgebot. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's the German purity law of 15 something something. 15, 16. But you're gonna get that kind of straw color. Um, very clear, so that's good. It's got this grassy, kind of bright hoppy character. What does this bottle say? The unique brew is made in the Kelsch style, which means using ale yeast, but fermenting at lager temperatures. Uh, bright straw yellow in color with a flowery hoppy Roman flavor. Well, uh, we nailed it. That We're smart. Who? Joseph's Brown. Joseph's Brow Brewing Company, San Jose, California. So this is actually brewed by Trader Joe's? Is it? I guess. I mean, it says, I don't know if that's the actual. Because the other one, remember the other ones that we had that were really good? Yeah, but I, Joseph's Brow, from what I understand, Joseph's Brow is one of those uh, other kind of like breweries. It, it's it's a faux name. It's not. Oh, it's, it's bottled under the... Like Joseph's Brow is the Trader Entity Jose's or name or yeah. whatever. Okay. Yeah. But it's bought, it's made by some brewery in California. I wonder who it is. What at least name? at least they kind of told us on the other one, sort of, kind of. Yeah. Or like they were half right anyway. It's somebody big. It's either like uh, the Widmer Brothers or like Gordon Beers or something like that. Mm. Well, it smells uh, it's a little bizarre. It's a little fruitier than. There's something funny going on in there. I can't pinpoint what that smell is. This says enjoy by 9.30.19, so we should be fine. Um, I mean... Ah, it's got like a kind of a, like an alcohol -y taste to it. Kind of like a... No, that's... It tastes kind of acetaldehyde. -y. It tastes kind of like apple-y. Can you taste that? Yeah, but it's not... It's not overbearing. You know what it reminds me of? Kind of like a Budweiser. Like the red can the Budweiser? Red, the king of beers, a red king. <laughs> Kane. Can. The Kang of beers. <laughs> well, that's like the Ninja Turtles guy, Kang. The brain dude. He's mm. the Kang of beers. But then it finishes off with this kind of like... bready, bitter... They took some liberties, you know, with the, the whole, like, labeling of it, Kolsch style. So, okay, you know, um, just for me, I don't like apple flavors in my beer because it just always reminds me of, you know, that off flavor that everyone hates. That's true. And I hate it. I think it's horrible. Uh, only seconded by the buttered popcorn off flavor. That's, That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this beer, and actually this beer, are a little over a dollar. So taking that into account, uh, I probably would still pass on this actually. Yeah, it's a bit too bitter for me. It's nowhere near the bitterness level of a Kolsch. We've had some really good Kolsches yeah. in our day. Um, and for those who don't know, it's probably great. Yeah. So I don't know, yeah, I'll pass. So let's take a look at the Hefeweizen. This is a Bavarian style Hefeweizen, unfiltered wheat beer, same brewing company. In Bavaria, well, I guess we could just read it off this because so they're doing the homework for us. Uh, in Bavaria, a unique strain of wheat beer yeast produces an array of distinct flavor qualities typical of true Hefeweizens, citrus, bubblegum, clove, and banana. Mm. Joseph's Brow Bavarian style, again, that word style, Hefeweizen is fermented with this exceptional strain 
In accordance with the German purity law, this beer is brewed with a minimum of 50% malted wheat. Beer stats, 5.3%, 12 IBU, fermented with top fermenting yeast. They really do go out of their way to give you a ton of information on the can. Nice. Yeah. I mean, not even a lot of craft breweries really tell you what's up with the beer that you're about That's to consume. True. They're just like, it's an IPA, it has mosaic and citra. Now with the uh, Hefeweizens, I really like to kind of agitate them a little bit to get that yeast sort of up in there. It adds a lot more flavor. And you gotta get the last little bit. You got a lot more than I did. That's not fair. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting oh. I'm getting the banana, I'm getting the clove, and it's it's the yeasty esters that give it that aroma of banana and of clove and it's actually also the yeast that gives it the taste of everything too. Yeah. And the wheat. So far it smells good. Yeah, it smells okay. It's not as like punchy as some Hefeweizens we've had, yeah. but uh, you know, it's a dollar. Let's dive in, cheers. cheers. I don't think it's as, car it's as carbonated as it should be. I think it's lacking a little bit of punch there. Um, it is very banana forward, I would say, uh, which I like. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I really like that Star Hill, the love, is because it's more banana forward and it doesn't have as much like clove spiciness mm -hmm. happening in there, which I don't really, I'm not a big fan of. It's another reason that I don't really like the, the Gordy seasonal, not the Gordy beers, like the pumpkin beers. I, I kind of dig those, but the, uh, the like, fall ales and stuff like that, the spiced, uh, you know, ones? This, yeah, because it's something about like a spiced fall candle. It reminds me beer. of potpourri that I'm yeah. drinking, <laughs> you know? And I don't like that. Um, this one says, please crush before 10, 13, 19. So. So that means a six pack is what, six bucks? Yeah, it's something around there. It's like $7 with tax. Oh, okay. Something like that. That's yeah. still a really good deal. That's a stupid price for... For a decent beer like that? If for a good beer. I would definitely choose this over Budweiser, though. I mean, that's, yeah, not, that's no sure. contest, right? What kind of beer channel do we have here? For sure, for a dollar, too. We should, though, get uh, a, a bunch of crappy, cheap beers and, like, compare them to their <laughs> equivalent craft, you know, beers and see kind of what... Because we haven't drank those beers in, in decades, yeah. right? What does a Budweiser actually even taste like? What is a Coors Original? taste like. Oh, I couldn't tell you. Like Rocky Mountain Oysters, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Given the choice between this one and the Summer Brew, this one all the way. This is, I think, a more refreshing, sure. uh, better summertime option, mm -hmm. and it tastes better, and it's better brewed. So, that's my take on it. Yeah. That's your take, I too. I agree, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more beer-related content. And as always, stay crafty. Cheers.